Hello all and welcome to this video where I'm going to be opening and unboxing this Knuckles figure from the Sonic the Hedgehog range which I found at B&M Home Store. So I'm going to see if I've got myself a little bit of a B&M Home Store's bargain and I've got to be honest with you, looking at it straight away, even, even now after I bought it in the shop I was convinced to buy it, I'm remaining very positive about this product. Yes, I do peruse over the toy section in B&M Home Stores a lot, looking for blind bags because I have a problem and looking for gaming related products just because I love gaming and I do love Sonic the Hedgehog so when I saw these yeah they stuck out like a sore thumb they really did now they had loads of Sonic they had loads of Metal Sonic but when I spied the shelves I could only see the one Knuckles there now I've always quite liked the Knuckles character I thought he was a little bit cooler in appearance and a bit more badass so when I only saw the one Knuckles character there I picked it up I had a look and I thought that looks really nice I've got to have that for myself like i said have i got myself a bnm home stores bargain because this was reduced these were nine pounds 99 originally but they were selling them for seven pounds 99 now just to look at the figure it does look of quality from the offset the packaging they have done a really good job i think of selling it to look at i mean it worked with me i literally just glanced i was like oh look sonic figures oh look at that knuckle oh he looks cool just the way it's presented in the packing is very good and i love the fact that they, they're supporting sega look go sega yeah, they're really cheering them on there and let me know that there is an accessory included by letting you know in four languages luckily enough for me one of the languages is english so i was able to read that and realize that there is an accessory included and of course that is a chaos emerald it looks like they flattened off the bottom so you could precariously balance it on your shelf before it falls down and you lose it a few times but uh, i think that's quite a cool little touch because obviously the chaos emeralds are quite important to the series and the franchise that is sonic the hedgehog and just in case you weren't aware even though it says sonic the hedgehog there with knuckles below because it is the sonic hedgehog range of figures there's the main man himself looks like he's bashing on the roof of the plastic here while knuckles is unaware to make him jump and i've just noticed that the background there is a golden ring and articulated and that is written in four languages as well i hope it's the same four here because otherwise you've just wasted your time and confused two countries at once potentially anyway so yes yeah, the ring around it there I say nice little touch that nice little touch that and they really haven't skimped out on trying to present this figure to you because look at the thickness of that plastic they really have gone to the effort of making him sort of stand out to you and i know now it says articulated there i can actually see without opening it there you go you've got some articulation in the knees there that is clearly visible so what a cool figure Gonna open this very shortly, but let's have a nose at the back and see what is on the back. Ah, look at that. 11. 11 points of articulation. Yes, it is still Knuckles and it's still the Sonic the Hedgehog range. And there is the range of figures that are available, as well as Knuckles, who is there, repeated there, as well as there, just in case you're not aware that you've bought this. Who makes these? Just notes there. Look, from the good people of Jack's Pacific. So, we've got four figures available to collect. Should you want to collect them all? No, and I say no because, yeah, I'm not really in interested in the Metal Sonic. Although, if you are interested in the Metal Sonic, the Metal Sonic figure was very good as well. But uh, Metal Sonic comes with this sort of metal panel with a robotic face on it. Not quite sure what that is. There is Sonic, there is Sonic above Knuckles with a cheap plastic skateboard with his head on it. I just He just looks cheap before I've even opened it. But I'm sure it's not that cheap. Knuckles is, got, is down here with his Chaos Emerald. And there is Tails with, uh, that has chopped off Sonic's foot and put it in one of those globes that a fortune teller uses. Um, no, that's obviously the, the power-up box that you jump on and makes you run fast. But uh, that's what it looks like. Tails, you, you little little devil, you. You little, um, hmm, yeah. Okay, that's a bit worrying. Chopping off people's foot. Whatever what turns you on, Tails. So anyway... Let's indeed open up this figure. I've got knife and scissors on standby, but I'm hoping it's very easy to open. And look at it, because do you know what? You could actually leave this in the packaging and have it on display. It would look very good, as I say, because the packaging is that good. However, this figure was reduced by £2 in 2020. I hardly think keeping it in this packaging and then uh, actually dying before uh, I ever get the chance to sell it is ever going to increase its value. So I want to appreciate it. I'm going to put it on the shelves and actually display it because it just looks cool. It looks cool. So let's open it up and see how cool, hopefully, it actually is. Can we get into it easily? That is the, there we go, there we go, just, just tear, there's there's the ring, look at that. Okay, we kind of destroyed, destroyed the appearance of, of the golden ring there, but there we go. Um, and pull him out, there we go. Oh, look at this, 
back and it's, it's hang on it's like an episode of what's that tv singing program where they spin the chairs around yeah the voice it's like an episode of the voice you know and today yep yeah, i picked to stay with you there we go let's uh, let's get the uh the accessory that's been included out if it wants to come out wow oh it ended up breaking the plastic trying to get it out that's how much that was well secured in there just just hold there a minute knuckles so there is your chaos emerald that comes with it as I say, the, the bottom is, is flattened off. It's, I don't think it's going to stand on my carpeted tile. But that was that was standing next to him. And I was going to say, I can imagine this accessory, as small as it is, is going to get lost a lot by children, potentially, and then refound, and then lost, and then refound, and then lost. You get where I'm going with this. Uh, they may lose it forever one day. You never know. So that, that's pretty cool. That's, um, for what it is, it is well manufactured. And uh, yeah, I like that nice little accessory to go with knuckles. Now that was tough to get out of the packaging. Are we gonna are we gonna need the knife to wrestle knuckles out of the packaging? Oh, got one arm out. We got. Can we get. God, man, what have you done? J and we pulled his arm off. Let's hope that goes back on easily. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up. 11 points of articulation. You may break the figure getting it out of the packaging. Wow. Right. Over the head. And hopefully that does just clip back on. Yes, it does. There we go. Removable fist. Is that one of the points of articulation? Thank God, Thank God I didn't just break that. So uh, there he is. There he is. Great detail. I was going to say, I always sort of look at figures and look at the eyes and think to myself that the eyes are always painted bad in, in many cases. So if the eyes are painted good, it's a good start that the figure is of a little bit of quality. And I'm quite quietly impressed with that, with a little button nose there and his cheeky grin to one side. Paint job, yeah, can't moan that too much. It's, it sort of crept up on the bottom of the eyes there, a little bit to one side. But again, pop that on your shelf, you're not really going to notice. That is articulated as well as it comes off. So I would imagine that one comes off as well. But there's 11 points of articulation. Uh, let's have a look at the detail of the boots. The boots look pretty cool. They look like I've got two Lego bricks on top of it for some reason. There we go. Don't step on that. That will hurt. How are you going to step on them? They're your shoes. Don't let anybody else step on your feet. It'll hurt them if they're not wearing any shoes. And there's the back of it. What have we got here? Oh, that's his tail coming up, is it? Yeah, oh, yeah, that's his tail coming up. And that's obviously his spikes coming down. And a little bit of chipping in the plastic there towards the back. Got a little indentations. But that's probably me getting out of the box and struggling. And I've got some writing on the back of his feet there. And two indentations there to locate him on some sort of stand that doesn't exist. I can't believe his arm, his hand came off as I pulled him out of the box. But apart from that, I was going to say, um, do we dare? There we go. The other one comes off. So, yeah. And that is a point of articulation as well, I suppose, because it turns... But uh, yeah, it's nice new comfort. I'm not going to try with the shoes. The shoes might be fatal if I try and pull that off. But there we go. I'm I'm quite pleased with that. So he will stand there nicely. He says, I'm a carpeted tile. Got a good solid base on his feet. So he's going to kind of stand on all surfaces kind of kind of quite well. But the Chaos Emerald is not going to is not going to stand up. Not on on carpet anyway. Uh, what can we use? Um, just pop that down there. Let's use my double dragon nes game here. See if we can get it to stand up on that. There you go. Just like that. Uh, a comedian once said that once upon a time. I do believe. So there we go. I'm <laughs> I am quite impressed with that. I had a little bit of a panic where I thought I broke it out of the box, but that just goes to show it's not cheap manufacturing. That uh, those gloves do just come off and pop back on. If that had just broke like that, pulling it out, and it wasn't meant to come off like that, then I would be a little bit worried. But I, am I pleased with my purchase? Yes, I am. I have to be honest with you. I am in, I am liking that. As I say, I do prefer the Knuckles character. I may go back and buy the Sonic. Not really interested in the Towers figure. Something about the Towers character doesn't really interest me. Got to be honest with you. Totally honest with you. Always am. Uh, just know he's got a little bit of painting on his chest. Yep, attention to detail. Quality of figure, I was going to say, please, <laughs> can't, still can't believe I pulled the bloody hand off. There we go. Well packaged, very well packaged. Ain't going to fall out of that packaging, trust me. But that's it. We have Knuckles. We have Knuckles. We may go back. B&M bargain, £2 off the asking price of £9.99 or the original retail price of £9.99, £7.99 for this figure. If you like Sonic the Hedgehog, it is a good figure. It's a very good looking figure. Quality figure, made well, you know, removable hands, 
I like it. So, yep, that's going to go pride of play. I don't know about pride of place, but it's going to go on my shelf amongst all my other gaming items and memorabilia and figures. All the Gears of War ones and all the Street Fighter ones and all the Tekken and the Mortal Kombat ones. It's going to fit alongside nicely there and uh, go alongside the other Knuckles figure. I do like Knuckles a bit. Really should buy some Sonic ones. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. For me, that is a B&M Bargains. Nice little touch with the accessory. Quality figure. Removable hands. Absolutely love it. Really pleased with that. I was going to say, that's going to look cracking amongst all my other gaming stuff. Really like it. Look at that. The double thumbs up. And I haven't even got to the end of the video yet. Because it is time for me to end the video and just say thank you very much for watching. And as always, please do take care.